Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask. Since last time, I went through the alien, ghost, whatever sequence back at Romani Ranch there because there's something else I want to show you guys after that. Not today, but in this cycle, eventually. But now that we've got the hook shot, uh, well, there's something else that we can do back here at the Mountain Village. So let's check it out. If I can ever get up to full speed. There you go. But uh, let's see. One thing that I, I could have done earlier while I was doing the whole uh, mountain, or well, just title deed sequence before I could have come here to finish that off. But I decided to wait until now since well, we're going to be in the area doing something else. So let's get back over here by the business scrub. And, yeah, you got to be Deku Link in order to uh, trigger the dialogue, so that way you can exchange the title deed with this guy. And eventually, I will put that to use back at Great Bay, because, well, spoiler alert, there's going to be another business scrub who wants this one. So, yeah, we can continue doing all that. And let's see, I want to go back to Snowhead now. So let's see, I think, I forget if I pointed it out or not, I think I did, where there was a piece of heart that we could see, but we couldn't get to before. But, well, now that we have the hook shot, we can! So let's head on over there. After, uh, can I get a little more magic? That would be nice. Ah, there you go, a lot more magic. We are going to need Goan Link to get to where I want to go. Just like we were doing before getting over these... Uh-oh. Okay, okay, we're good. Phew. I was a little worried I was going to overshoot that. But, uh, okay. So, let's see. Use the... Oh, well, first, I need. I want to get rid of that uh, ice piece there. Ha-ha! Gotcha! Okay, so anyway, yeah, you got the uh, Lens of Truth here, so that we can just see all these platforms, but we're still not close enough to get to that heart piece. Whatever shall we do? Well, if you notice with uh, Tattle there, uh, what is it? Well, she seems to think something's over there, and she's right. We can put the, uh, yeah, Scarecrow song to use to get over there. And remember, if uh, the Scarecrow doesn't show up there, that's because you created the Scarecrow song in another cycle. And it doesn't carry over from cycle to cycle. So you want to be watch out for that. If I can ever get out of here, there you go. Okay, now I do want to return to the Great Bay there. Because, well, we got a photograph for the fishermen over here. And we're going to want to exchange that for something. So, let's see. Yeah, let's uh, get that. Get the Zora mask going. I wish you could transform, like, in midair while you're doing stuff. Like that one cutscene in uh, Legend of Dragoon, where, uh, I think it was Lavitz who, uh, like, started charging to attack someone and then just transformed in midair. That's always epic when they do that sort of thing in video games or anime or whatever. Okay, so we uh, got the photograph. So yeah, the seahorse wants to get over to, or get back to Pinnacle Rock. So let's see, we already got a picture. Hopefully this will be good enough. Didn't catch the cleavage, but it gets the job done anyway. Hooray! Well, I, yeah, just put on the mask and they couldn't see me. And, all right, so yeah, exchange the photograph for the seahorse, and we're good to go. So, and, well, I'll just tell you, the remaining Zora eggs are at Pinnacle Rock there. And there's something else that we can do while we're there as well. So, yeah, let's get back over to the... Whatever that place was, the, the laboratory there, and then we can head on over to Pinnacle Rock. You want to watch out when you're moving around here, because, uh, what is it, there are like-likes underwater there, and they will munch on you, and probably take some of your stuff, too. 
I, I honestly, I don't think I've ever been, like, swallowed up by a like-like in this version of the game. I don't know exactly how they work. I would imagine it's similar to uh, Ocarina of Time, but I don't know. But all right, so let's see. Get over here by the two rocks. And, okay, so the water is murky around here. And what that means is that you can't just go swim straight to your objective. You have to, well, first, release a seahorse here. Well, you don't have to if you already know where to go. But it's a good idea. This is how you're supposed to know where to go. So just follow the seahorse around here. Although, me personally, I prefer to walk on the ground when I'm going to be making turns. Whoa. Yeah, you don't want to go too far off track here. Or you'll be warped back to the start. Just like the Gerudo Desert there. So, but also like that part... You can, or what is it, the Haunted Wasteland, or whatever that was called. And, okay, yeah, just keep following the seahorse, and you can get to your destination. But, yeah, if you know where to go, you don't have to bring the seahorse at all, really. But we do need to go here and follow this path in order to, uh, what is it? Yeah, in order to advance the plot. Oh, okay. So, yeah, if you leave and come back, the map will help you out next time. But, uh, okay, so we've got, I think, eight sea snakes around here to deal with. And they are in all these little alcoves in the area here. And it's pretty deep, too. So what you want to do is swim over to them, get ready to hold the R button for your barrier. Draw it out. And hit it on the neck with the barrier there. If you don't use the barrier, the I think they can uh, grab onto you and swing you around and all that sort of thing. So, that's not good. Avoid it. So, let's see. Another way you could do this if you were concerned about your magic supply is you could, like, land, like, right here on the corner of the alcove and then... Uh, use your boomerangs and hit it on the neck there. Man, these guys really did escape from uh, Mario 64. At least they remind me of that one. But, uh, okay, so let's see. Okay, there's nothing else of interest here, but you do need to kill the snakes, so you might as well. I was hoping maybe these had magic in them, but no! Okay, so let's see. Let's go straight over to that one. So we basically got four of these alcoves on the upper level here. You can see the four paths on the minimap there. But, uh, what is it? There we go. But, uh, there's still some other paths on the lower level that are kind of superimposed on the map there. But it's pretty easy to find out where most of these things are. Let's see. Let's get a couple more bottles. That'll be all we need for the remaining Zora eggs that we need to find here. And let's see. One more of those and four more snakes to deal with. So let's see. Let's get over here. Got to go up a little bit. Uh-oh. Can I get, like, a lock on these guys and see what going on with them or no no okay i just like using ma magic to beat them because yeah as you can see there's going to be quite a few pots around here that i uh, have magic for us you saw how i accidentally threw my boomerangs there and uh what is it if you press the b button while your boomerangs are out then you, you just immediately draw them back in, towards yourself so that you can uh, keep on going and doing your thing. So let's see, we got four more on this lower level. You see the map changed here a little bit. Gotta be careful with using the barrier though to kill these guys. Cause sometimes they'll go right past you and you'll need to run into them in order to uh, get the make contact with them and kill them. I remember these snakes being a lot harder for me to kill in my test runs. Like when I was practicing earlier today, I was like, wait a minute, that that's all you gotta do to beat them? I thought there was like something more to it or not. Uh, game? 
Oh, there it is. I was like, where'd the other one go? The two paths are pretty close to each other. Surface, then hit the guy. There we go. So yeah, there's always going to be like two paths that are pretty close to each other as far as, you know, finding it where all the snakes are. So like the upper four are relatively close to each other on the same height. I mean, two of them are a little lower, but you can still see where they are and, well, where they're going. Okay, so, let's see. Two more to go. Let's uh, get this bottom one here. Clear all the treasure, at least. Ha ha. Yeah, just let them run towards you and use your barrier. That's really all you need to do to, to beat these guys. Why waste time using boomerangs on them when magic really isn't that much of a concern anymore? But like I was saying, you want to be careful with using your magic because if you just sit there waiting for them to run into it, and you're not at the appropriate height, then, you know, you could drain a whole lot of magic if all you're doing is just holding down the, the A button there. Okay, I think this is where it is. There we go. Yeah, I remember these guys in Mario 64. There was the one that, what was it, had like a star on its tail or something? You, got, you had to make it come out or something like that? It's been forever since I played the game, probably since I played it on the original 64. But alright, so we've defeated all eight of those snakes there and released the, uh, what is that? The seahorse's friend to get a heart piece. Hooray! What was that first one? Oh, that, that, I was wondering, what's that first image there? Oh, yeah, that's the fisherman there. Right, I was like, wait a minute, I don't remember that guy. Uh, can you, can I talk to you, or? No, I guess they're just, uh, well, busy doing whatever seahorses do, but. Can I just, like, warp out of here? That would be really convenient. Hey, hey, all right. For some reason, I kind of felt like, wait a minute, is this one of those areas where it looks like you should be able to warp out of there, but you can't for some arbitrary reason or something? I don't know. But, uh, okay, we're back here. Let's get the, the last of those uh, Zora eggs in the aquarium, and hopefully we made it in time. Well, I mean, they're still alive, but uh, do you get anything to say? Oh. That seems rather arbitrary, but okay. And don't worry about those other fish in the fish tank as long as you haven't, you know, reset the cycle with the Song of Time. You're still good. You're still good. I'll eventually get around to it. It's just not really a high priority for me at the moment. There is a good place around here to get a whole bunch of fish for your bottles there. So that's basically what I'm waiting for. How did those other Zora eggs get into like some sort of formation with the other ones? I dumped them all in the same spot. But whatever works, just yeah, pour all the Zora eggs through the cage at the top and well, something's gonna happen. Oh, okay, sure, why not? So, What's going on? I don't think that's how eggs work. But then again, I'm an engineer, not a biologist. Or whatever you would call a scientist that studies fish. What was that noise you made? What do you mean? It means... It means absolutely nothing. Uh, game. Oh, right, right. I wonder if I have to be Zora Link in order to do that. No, I guess not. Eh. 
Yeah, it's a nice tune. Don't really know much about Bossa Nova personally, as far as like a musical style goes. Oh. Okay, I guess I do have to be uh, Zora Link in order to do that. Okay, let's try that one again. Uh, there we go. Is that good enough for you guys? I thought I already learned it. But, uh, okay, sure, why not? Okay, so remember that line, I kind of glossed over it there, where it says it invigorates singing voices? Oh, Hur what do you mean, hurry? Oh, okay, uh, wh what was that? Mikhail was saying something about that. Something about... I don't know, his girlfriend or a friend of his or someone that was, uh, what is it, trying to, or who laid those eggs? Can we find her? Find out next time on Let's Play Majora's Mask. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.